What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King, Chef Shalom, back in the building. Hey, real quick, man, I want to just let y'all boys know that this video is sponsored by my business, the Chef Soul Glow. Yo, maximize your best glow with the Chef Soul Glow. Glow packs available at the Chef Soul Glow and the Chef Use on beards, waves, natural hair, and skin. But yeah, man, link will be in the description or in the bio so y'all boys can go over there and maximize y'all best glow. You know what I mean? Y'all boys enjoy this video. Shalom. What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef. Oh, my glasses are a little crooked. Hold on. <laughs> King Chef Shalom back in the building. All praise to the most High for another day. Hey, man. What's, hey. Let me rap with y'all boys real quick. Y'all know how we get down. I mean, if, if, if you've been watching my videos for a minute, I greatly appreciate you. You feel me? But y'all know how we get down. Let me rock with y'all boys real quick. Hey man, what you consume is what you will become. You feel me? What you will, what you consume is what you will become, bro. Now, before we dive into it, I'm gonna explain a little bit what I mean, dog. Like, you know how people say you are what you eat and stuff like that. Not saying that. Okay, well, if you eat some chicken you're gonna turn into a chicken with feathers and shit now i'm not saying that and no that's not what that phrase means but like the energy that you consume is what you will that's the energy that you will possess that's the energy that you obtain absorb or whatever you want to use for that so let's get into it you know what i mean so you know the food that you consume we're going to talk about food right now the food that you consume if it's if it's food of no energy or low energy, that's what you're gonna have. You feel me? If you always eating cookies and chips and, and and queso and all this other fake bullshit that they call food here, you know what I mean? Like we over here eating muffins and brownies and, and, and all that bullshit. That shit ain't got no kind of nutritional value to it. I mean it's I, I feel like I guess nowadays you can kinda kind of lively liven it up a little bit if i'm using that word correctly but like for the most part like those things those store-bought snacks the snacks you can go to the corner store and get like bag of chips that's been sitting there for like the last month you know what i mean that shit ain't real food that's that's no it is no energy in that food bro that's why a lot of us are overweight a lot of us are obese we have low energy we are uh our blood circulation is low, you know? Your damn dick don't work like it's supposed to. Oh yeah, all that shit plays a role, bro, for real. So like, the the food that you consume, it has to have some kind of, it has to have some energy in it, some, li some life energy type shit. Now, it's the foods that contain that, you know what I mean? Like fruits, vegetables, stuff of those stuff like that bro like i mean you can go in depth different fruits do different things different vegetables do different things for your body but those ideally are the things that um help you know give you energy for uh, grains maybe not so so much of just white rice you know what i mean but like quinoa stuff like that you should try some quinoa bro i fuck with quinoa you know, like quinoa is definitely a good alternative for rice. It it, it, it it makes you feel better. Your body digests it a lot better. You know what I mean? Way more nutrients in it than rice. Keep that in mind, you feel me? Um, if you're constantly eating dead animals with every meal, you know what I mean? That plays a role in the energy that you have within yourself. That's that's technically dead energy, you know? So if the if the... I'm not saying you're supposed to eat an animal while it's alive, <laughs> but like eating dead flesh, that's that's dead energy. That energy is is dead, point blank period. So why would you want to put dead energy in your body? You know, when I used to eat meat constantly, every single day, every meal, stuff like that, I would I recall being sluggish. I recall being, you know what I mean, just lazy. I don't feel like doing nothing today. My energy is low. That's that's the type of vibe that I would give off. You know what I mean? 
I had to switch it up. I had to consume, I had to consume. I don't I don't eat meat anymore, but like I had to consume fruits and vegetables more. Drink more water. Get that them fruit juices and them fucking Kool Aids and them Capri Suns and all that bullshit. That shit is dead energy, bro. You ain't getting shit from that. that shit is it's taking away more than it's giving. You know what I mean? So keep that shit in mind, bro. So we gonna switch the focus on from from food to what we listen to, to what we to what we watch on the daily. You know what I mean? If you constantly watching movies that promote violence, drama, sex, finessing people, you know, scamming, fraud, any of that bullshit, like that's what mentality you gonna have. Or at least that's what kind of thoughts that you're gonna have. You're gonna have thoughts of of scamming people. You're gonna have a you're gonna have thoughts of like I wish a nigga would try me so I could shoot their ass. Like, where you think these thoughts and shit come from? You know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta go to the source, bro. We gotta go to the source of why people are like this. I mean, it's biblically written that, you know what I mean, we would have hate towards each other, but I'm not even gonna touch on that part right now. You know what I mean? I have actually did a video um, talking about Deuteronomy, I believe it's verse 54 talking about so go but go back and, and look in my videos and go check that one out for real so it's really I feel like that's a really insightful video you know what I mean but we're gonna constantly have thoughts of doing those things that we watch and we listen to on the daily if you always watching shows like drama field shows I mean as a man you shouldn't be watching these shows but I know it's some men out there that do that watch like love and hip-hop and and all them drama field shows you know first off Men shouldn't be watching nothing that got no damn drama in it. Drama is for women, first off. Like, women like emotion. Women like drama shit. Like, men shouldn't be watching no shit with no fucking drama in it. You know what I mean? But if I'm being honest, you know, that's the type of thoughts and the lifestyle or mentality that we're going to try to emulate. You know what I mean? So you have to keep that shit in mind, bro. If you constantly listen to, like, music, that murder, murder, kill, kill music, fucking another man's wife music or another man's woman that's which is adultery if we keep in the g you know what i mean like that's the type of mentality that you're gonna have it's guys out here who think that it's okay to be out here killing one another it's guys out here who think that it's okay to be having sex with another man's wife if that woman comes on to you you know whether you knew she had a man or not bro it's your it's your duty as a man to have First off, have enough discernment, have enough control over your lust, and be able to tell a bitch no. <laughs> you gotta be able to tell a woman no, especially if you know she got a man, bro. Hey, man, I'm good, I'm good. You know what I mean? Anytime a woman ever came on to me and, she, and I knew she had a man, for sure, like, hey, I'm, I'm good, shawty, like, I'm good, you know? So, you have to keep that in mind, bro. We definitely have to keep that in mind. But don't get it twisted, I ain't gonna sit here and act like I, I don't, listen to that kind of music every blue moon you know what i mean because as i'm as i'm transitioning away from that kind of music you know i still you know i still vibe to it every now and then but do i let it consume me to the point that i want to get out here and commit crimes or murder or fuck another man or woman or nothing like that or something like that nah the music doesn't hit me like that that's why a lot of people will ask me like damn bro you don't listen to such and such you don't like nah bro I don't, they ain't talking about shit that I wanna hear. If, if I'm being honest, like, they are not talking about shit that I wanna hear, you know? So, with that being said, you have to switch up what you consume. And plus, pl on top of that, bro, icing on the cake, all that shit sounds the same anyways. I can tell you everything that these rappers are rapping about now. You rapping about the jewelry that you have. You rapping about the women that you got. You rapping about the murders that you did, or allegedly. You rapping about the crime you grew up in. You grew up in a rough neighborhood. You had to struggle to make it out. You had to do this. You had to had to shoot at jobs. You done been in shootouts. Like you done fucked this nigga bitch. You done did this. You know that nigga hoe want you. you. The ops hoes want you. Like all that shit the same, bro. That shit is annoying. Cut that dumb shit off. Who I smoked and all that other bullshit. Shut up. Shut, all that shut up. Shut up. You know, shut that shit up. But anyways, last but not least, bro, I got, like, honestly, ask yourself, 
where do we get these ideas from or thoughts from if we've never been influenced by this music or by the, what we see on TV? If we were never influenced, would we really have that mentality? But hey, man, this your boy King Chef Shalom. All praise to the Most High for another day. You know what I mean? If the message applies to you, you charge it to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. Shalom, y'all, boys.